All right, here we go, my fellow blockheads and all my friends. We appreciate you being here. Listen, I'm old Pops. This is the Pops Cash. We are ready to go kick off a new week. Uh, got a lot happening today. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. Going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we got concert dates. We got birthdays. We got questions. And we got a deep dive into our next artist up here on the wall. So, now, before we get started, though, let me tell you. Don't forget, right? These up here, these brand new ones that you're seeing behind me right here, that is not where they're going to be on the wall. I needed to get some measurements, make sure we had the stuff right so we can finish getting the frames. And uh, CB, who is sending a bunch of them over the next, I don't know how long he's going to do it. But anyway, he's got some stuff coming. Uh, he's already told me the sizes of those. So, yeah, we're trying to get the frames together so we can get everything framed up, set, what have you. We got another thing going on that's going to be right up here. Very soon, we got new logos being made for merchandise. We got all kinds of stuff happening. So, we got a lot going on, my friends. So, thank you for being patient with us. Hey, don't forget, this month, though, through the month of August, we got a huge sale in the shop. Use our code. It's down in the description box. Get 10% off your purchase. And you let us know as soon as you get your stuff. Hey, Pops, I got my stuff. Can you check this out? Done. And if you want to see a deep dive into your favorite artist, and they're not up here on the wall and we're not doing them right now, um, let me know. We're glad to do it, okay? All right, now let's kick this off with the birthdays because we got a lot, a lot of them this month. August birthdays, right? Uh, the blockheads themselves. Now, if we don't have your birthday, let us know and we'll shout you out for your birthday. Now, okay, we're glad to do it. We get the birthdays every month, first part of every month, first pop cast, pops cast of every month. Uh, the Blockheads, we got Matt Robinson on the 27th. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a fantastic one. Now, the Stars, the Bigs, <laughs> as we like to call them around here. On the 1st, we got Sion of uh, Stacy and Chaywan of La Seraphim and Is One. Uh, on the second, we got Mark of NCT, NCT Dream. Excuse me. Uh, the fifth, Shion of Everglow. Uh, the eighth, Zaujin of Way B. And some of these we have not had on the channel yet now. So if y'all want to see some of these, you let me know. Okay? Happy to do it. We do have some of them on the list, but not all of them. I don't think, as far as I remember. Because um, some of these are newer. Who we just do? Is that, okay. The ninth, Lara of Dream Note and Kazua of La Seraphim. The tenth, Maya of the Fantastic XG. Uh, Hajung of AOA, Sua of Dreamcatcher, and Changbin of. Stray Kids, on the 12th, Leah of Secret Number, Minzio of Wua, uh, Mihi of Minhi of Niziu, and Yuen of Kepler, the 13th, Bomi of A-Pink, and J-Man of NCT Dream. The 14th, Sohi of Rocket Punch. Um, 16th, Chi Yu of XN. 18th, Hesul of Luna. Yunji of A Pink. Nagisa of Trident. And Choan of I Chillin'. 
the 19th year in of G Friend and Umji of Vivids and G Friend. I know there's a few of them that went to different groups as they went too. We'll get into that later too. Um, 22nd, ECO of Kepler. 23rd, G Song of Tan. And here in of Exid. Uh, 25th, Duan of J, uh, Day 6. 26th, Seo of Tan. And Soyan of G Idol. Idol, excuse me. Uh, 27th, Fi of Miss A. The 30th, Sora of Bua. And the 31st, we have Wanyong of Is One and I've. And, uh, Yunjin of DIA. So, a lot of birthdays this month. If y'all want to see something special from them, look in the description box. Everything is down there. You want to get a birthday request in, it's all down there, okay? How to do it. All right? You let me know. We're happy to do it on the day of their birthday. All right? Obviously, we cannot do... There's no way we could do a song for everyone on their birthday. Right? You get way too many. Some months we've had as many as, I don't know, what is it, like 40 CB? There's just no way we could get it all. But if you want to get a birthday request in for either somebody you know or, a, you know, a family member or one of the stars, we're glad to do it. Everything's down in the description box, all right? Now, we got a couple of passings in the music world uh, this week. A couple of really sad ones. Uh, Miss Sinead O'Connor, I don't know if y'all remember her, uh, did a cover of Nothing Compares to You that was just out of this world. I think everybody heard that cover, no matter what kind of music you were in, uh, into. Uh, she passed away this week at 56, I believe she was. And then Randy Meisner, founding member of the Eagles, uh, complications from COPD. Um, so be careful with that if you have it. I have it. Be careful with it. Take your medicine. Make sure you're staying well, all right? Um, rock in peace, Randy and, and Sinead. They'll be missed in the in the music world, I promise you. Okay. Now, going to get to some concert dates here. Now, what I'm doing with concert dates, if y'all want to see a certain group, band, artist, whatever the case may be, on the concert dates, and you want me to get them together to let everybody know, you let me know about it, all right? But what I'm doing right now is I'm doing just a few, right? And these will be dates for September, not August. We already did August. Go back and check check the Popscast list. It'll be right up here at the end of the video. All right. Um. So concert dates for September. I'll let you know as we go through these. These are all over the world now. I'll let you know as we go through these. Um. What ones still have tickets? Now, this is as of yesterday morning, there was still tickets available for some of these, okay? And I'll let you know which ones. All right, the warning. Uh, September, September, I can't talk this morning either, y'all. Um, September 12th, they'll be at the Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee. That one is sold out. Uh, this one is not. September 15th, they'll be at the Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Still tickets available for that. Uh, October 7th, Royal Center in Bogota, Colombia. That one's sold out. And October 10th is not sold out yet uh, for our friends at Club Chocolate in Recoleta, Chile. I hope y'all get to see them. I know we're going to the next time they're around close to us. Uh, we've been looking at it already. Nothing coming close right now, but they will be here eventually. We know that because they've got a lot of touring in 2023 and 24 that's already 
being worked on. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Dreamcatcher. Uh, all these go on sale today. So these are not sold out. All right? Every one of these dates goes on sale today. September 5th, they will be at Meridian Hall in Ontario, Canada. September 7th, they will be at the Taft Theater in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, the 10th of September, they'll be at Grand Ole, Grand Ole Opry House in Nashville. What a place to play, huh? And then uh, September 13th, they'll be at the Phillips Performing Arts Center in Orlando, Florida. Now, like I said, all these go on sale today. So, check those if you're in any of those areas and check them out, all right? That's their dates for September. ESPA. We haven't done ESPA yet. Um, as far as concert date goes, like I said, I'll let you know which one of these is not sold out and which ones are as we go through. September 2nd. Excuse me, it is sold out. The Eminem Music Hall in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope y'all got tickets for that. They say it's a fantastic show to see. I've seen a couple of reactors. I've talked to a couple of reactors uh, that have seen them and said it is fantastic. Need to go see them live. Uh, September 5th, they will be at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. That one is not sold out yet. Uh, September 8th. Uh, Distrito Federal in Mexico. That one sold out. Uh, September 11th, not sold out yet. Espaco uh, United in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, September 14th, not sold out. Teatro. At the Teatro in Santiago, Chile. Uh, September 25th, sold out. Seahal in uh, Berlin, Germany. September 28th, tickets available for this one. The O2 in London, England. And September 30th, they will be at La Dome de Paris in Paris, France. That one sold out. And two more we'll get to today. Now, like I said, I'm just doing a few every time, right? And we get these from uh, dates from their channels. And then we get the available tickets from StubHub, Ticketmaster, and ticketing sites from around the world. So... G Idol, Idol. I always say G. I don't know why. Cause I guess because it's there. I always see it. It's there, you know. But anyway, Idol uh, is on tour right now. September 9th, they are sold out for this one at the Ovo Arena Wembley in London, England. Uh, these next two are not sold out. There's tickets available. Ow. September 11th, they'll be at the AFAS Live Center. In Amsterdam, Netherlands. And September 13th, they'll be at Zenith de Petit in Paris, France. September 16th, sold out. They'll be at the Forest National in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, not sold out, however. Tickets available. September 18th and 19th. They'll be at the Berti, uh, Berti Music Hall in Berlin, Germany. 27th and 28th of September is sold out. They'll be at the Tachikawa Stage Garden in Tachikawa, Japan. And that's it for them. Now, got a festival here. Head in the clouds, L.A. Got, uh, XG, who we're talking about here, right? And there's several others on that ticket, including Adarashi Gako. 
out of uh, Japan. If y'all haven't seen them, they're a wild, fun group. Um, they'll be there as well. This is August 5th and 6th. Now, I know this is August, but that's when the festival is, right? August 5th and 6th, so this coming weekend. Uh, there is still a very limited amount of tickets available if you live in the L.A. area or you're going to be there. Uh, they will be at the, I think it's at the Rose Bowl in L.A., August 5th and 6th, and that's XG at Heads, Head in the Clouds Festival. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. I hope you have a great time. I'd have loved to have seen them when they were in New York or L.A. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get there, but that's okay because I know they are just starting their tour schedules and starting to move things forward. So, yeah, it'll be great to see them on tour when it's all said and done. Okay, we got a couple of questions here that we need to answer before we get into the deep dive of the next artist. I was asked, we had some trouble here over the past couple weeks, and I've been going back and fixing everything now. Did I abandon subtitles? No, I did not. Uh, we had some trouble. A lot of people had trouble over the last couple weeks with subtitles. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, you couldn't do them unless you went in and typed them by hand and what have you, and that's a lot of time. Very few did that that I know of, so yeah. No, I did not abandon them. <laughs> they are going to, I have went back and fixed everything, I think. If I miss something, you let me know. We'll get it done. All right? And a while back, I had said that there was some artists that we will not react to on the channel. And there's different reasons for each one. And I was asked what artist we will not react to on the channel. Well, I'm going to answer that now. And this is going to sound harsh for some of them. Others, I know some will understand why. Uh, but you'll never see these on this channel. Period. You won't see them on the Patreon either. Alright, we're going to start with the Eagles. Why? Because the Eagles their record company, their producers, promoters, etc., are very, very well known for sending out immediate take it down or we're removing your channel. So that is not going to happen. I am not even going to play with that. So they will never be on here. All right? Uh, these next few, I'll tell you the reason when we get done. Evanescence, the band, Evanescence, Beyonce, Adele, Mariah Carey, and Celine Dion. Why? I have been forewarned by several reactors and several other people that if you do not fall on the ground and absolutely kiss the ground that these women, these ladies, Amy included from Evanescence, and this is too bad. Uh, if you do not absolutely fall down and kiss the ground that they walked on and say the exact right things, their fans will absolutely eat up your comments until you cancel your channel and start over. And that's not going to happen either. And I'm not going to do that. Now, I love all kinds of music. I'm happy to do all kinds of music, but I am not going to fall down and just whimper down to whoever. If I don't like something, I'll tell you I don't like it. And you can't do that with these artists. I've been forewarned of that. All right. Number seven, Greta Van Fleet. This one's a tough one, right? But some of you are going to understand this especially if you've seen their videos. I've been warned, again, that if you do their videos and you even mention the name of one band that was extremely popular in the 1970s, that their fans will absolutely eat up your channel and 
force you to either remove it or cancel everybody out. So that's not going to happen either. And then ACDC, just simply for the same reasons as the Eagles, they're, I think it's more their company than the guys themselves um, are well known for making you take it down. Uh, now, we can do some of theirs over on the Patreon, but they will not be over here, okay? Because I'm not going to fight all that. Yes, I know that copyright is coming on almost everything we do, right? Almost everything we do has a copyright claim on it. And when I say almost, I mean all but the brand new artists that are coming out or, um, you know, certain little things that you can do from... But even when we do stuff like lyric videos that people have done, they're going to be copyrighted, right? Because they should get the credit for the work they did, and I have no problem with that. None whatsoever, right? But I'm not going to deal with copyright infringement and all that. I'm just not. It's We're just not going to deal with that. So, those artists will never be on here, okay? And then I was asked, how do I get to the merch? Well, I know you got to go down in the description box, and if you go... And you open the description box and you scroll down, you'll see that we have a list down there for like um, uh, donations. And we do have a donation link down there to the PayPal. Uh, we also have the merch link down there for Bonfire. Um, but you have to open the description box and, and scroll down. Um, and then we have the Patreon down there as well. Okay? That's how you do that. All right? Now, let's get into this deep dive. I'm looking forward to this one. As you can see, I've got the Mama Moo shirt on today. Thank you, CB. We appreciate you, brother. Uh, this is the Buell shirt. Um, because we're doing a deep dive on Mama Moo today. They are right here. Boop. And they're the next ones on the list because we're moving from we did Itsy first, then we did the warning. Now we're on Mama Moo. Oops. Mama Moo right here. And then these ladies right down here will be next, and then we'll move right on up. Okay? And then over to the other wall. All right? But it's Mama Moo today, so we'll have a block of Mama Moo this afternoon. And again, we'll do that like we do the... um videos when we do the regular three a day and we don't have something sponsored and what have you then we will do that um it'll be an older video one from the middle and then a newer one okay and that's the way we'll do that and that's the way we always work so unless we have sponsored request so let's start with the leader sola solacido uh, she was born February 21, 1991, which would make her 32. Still young. Uh, her birth name, Kim Yong Sun. She is 160.5 centimeters tall, which is about 5 foot 3. And she's the leader and vocalist. Uh, she was born in Seoul. She has one older, one older sister. And this is something I didn't know about her. I, I didn't know this until I got to researching. Now, the research for this comes off of not only their, um, you know, their site, but from a couple other sources as well, uh, K-pop things and what have you. Anyway, she originally wanted to be a flight attendant, which is, I guess, that's a pretty cool job, you know? So that's a great thing to want to be. Nothing wrong with it. That's really cool. Uh, she loves to listen to Little Wayne. Little Wayne. I say little, Little Wayne. Little Wayne. And she plays piano. I didn't know that either. I didn't know she played. 
Uh, she's the only one in uh, Mamamoo with no tattoos. She doesn't have a tattoo on her. That's pretty wild, uh, considering all the other ladies do. And she's a scaredy cat, they say. Self-proclaimed because she has a big fear of ghosts. Okay, I could see that. <laughs> she's also a lot of fun. This this group is just, it's like fun on wheels, you know? They're just hilarious, they have a great time, and they're also one of the best vocal groups in the business, period. So, yeah. Now, Buell, my shirt, my bias in the group, my alt bias. It, again, with these groups, I don't think you can have a particular just pure bias. An ultimate bias? Sure. Buell happens to be mine. Right? Moon Buell. She was born 22 December uh, 1992. So she'd be 30 now. Um, her birth name her birth name is Moon Buell Yi. Uh, she's 163.5 centimeters tall, about five foot four. So they're very short, but they sure fill up an arena when they do it. If y'all want to see them live, we do have live over on the Patreon, by the way. Uh, she was born in Busan, South Korea. Has two younger sisters. Uh... Auditioned, she auditioned as a vocalist, but switched to a rapper. Um, with her skills as a rapper and a vocalist, it's no wonder she's one of the, you know, the onies of the business. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she and so are no good with high rides like roller coasters. They don't do them. They're no good with them. I bet it'd be funny to see them on one, though. <laughs> uh, she has six tattoos now I say tattoos because this, this came up in their profiles and stuff and I have a few myself so I love good body art uh, she's credited with writing over 98 songs including her raps all of her raps in Mamamoo um, that's She's one of the most credited female idols of the third generation, of third gen. And I can see that. She writes a lot of stuff, and she's extremely good. All right. And then we move on to Huyen. Uh She was born 17 April 1995. She's 28 now. Um, her birth name, Jung Wee In. She's 162 centimeters, about five foot three and three quarters. Uh, she was born in Jeonju, South Korea. She's an only child. She's the only one without siblings. Um, She, she and Hwasa, uh, she and Hwasa have been friends since middle school. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, she has a huge cross on Benzino. I have no idea who that is, but that's okay. And she likes to watch, uh... Cooking shows, essentially. Eating shows. Considers herself a snack queen. She self-proclaimed snack queen. <laughs> That's funny. And she loves drawing. That's cool. Uh, she has 12 tattoos. And she was a uh, trainee at MBK Entertainment before coming over. And she has signed a new contract with Live Entertainment. Um, 
but evidently in her contract she is has it in there where she can still promote with Mama Moo. Now whether they're gonna do any more albums together or not, that is yet to be seen. Uh but she does have a solo contract now. But she is going to continue to promote with Mama Moo as of right now. So I would hope that would continue, but I don't know. Uh Wasa. The Makne. <laughs> uh she was born twenty three July nineteen ninety five. She's twenty eight. Um her birth name on uh, Hygiene. She is a vocalist, raptor, and the Makne. Uh her height is approximately 160 centimeters. She's five foot two. Same height as Mops. Uh, she was born in Jeonju, South Korea. Has two older sisters. It says here her first love was her social studies teacher, and she was still in contact with him until not long back, as a matter of fact. Um, that's really cool. Funny. She loves to cook. She considers herself the uh, Mama Moo chef. And she loves old jazz music. And is allergic to animal fur, but she has a pet toy lion that anytime the other members talk about their pets, that's what she refers to is her pet lion. And she's had it for a long time. She has five tattoos. And she is the Makne. Uh, she's also a absolutely brilliant vocalist and rapper and et cetera. So, yeah. So that's where we're at with Mama Moo right now. Now, they do have new stuff out, uh, from what I hear. I don't know what we'll find out this afternoon. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at with them right now. So I'm looking forward to more from them. Uh, we're trying to get a little deeper into each artist as we go. Um, so I hope that helps with knowing a few things about Mama Moo that we didn't know before. I know it helped me because I didn't know, like, Solar play, play, Solar played piano. Um, you know, I didn't know Hwasa had a pet lion, a uh, stuffed lion, which is cool because she can't be around animals, which is awesome. That's understandable, you know. Um, so, yeah, little things like that. That's what I like to get into and find out, you know. I appreciate that. So. Next time, we'll get into the next one on the wall up here. Uh, it'll be coming soon. But as of right now, we're going to get into Mama Moo this afternoon. So we got three, and we'll see you then with those. My friends, don't forget to check everything down in the description. Thank you for joining us. And y'all let me know if there's something you'd want to know about. Uh, we're happy to do it on the Popscast every Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, every Monday for your music news and more. I'm Old Pops. I will see y'all later today with Mama Moo. We'll see you then, this Old Pops. We are out.